Hey guys, it's Nicole. In this video, I'm going to be doing a Goodwill outlet haul. This video was filmed a few weeks ago. I had listed all of the items and I actually am able to share a lot of the sold items with you as well. So I think you're gonna really enjoy this video. It's gonna be pretty educational. I purchased 89 pounds of clothing. You can go to my previous video and kind of see me shopping at Goodwill outlet for the items. Um, I spent just over $100 on all of these items. I've already sold 35 items on Poshmark for a total of $777. After fees, it's $569.82. That's an average of $22.20 an item. Um, and then after fees, $16.28. So, so far so good to be able to turn just over $100 into $569 after fees. I love that. I still have lots of things left to sell and I hope you guys really, really enjoy this video. Let me know in a comment down below. And if you're new here, welcome. Please consider subscribing to my channel. It really helps me out. All right, enjoy the video guys. Okay, it's haul time. I am so excited. I organized everything into categories and counted it all. I have 120 items. So that means I paid just under a dollar an item fantastic i'm gonna start with a couple of like small random things that i got i got this bucket hat <laughs> because it's like a pink thick corduroy bucket hat and it was brand new with tags it's just target wild fable but i think that um i can sell this locally or probably even on poshmark to be honest with you i'm probably just gonna put it in the local shop that i sell at uh for like twelve dollars and it is a really cute little wild fable bucket hat. The next thing I got is this, I think another reseller threw this back, but I ended up making the decision to buy it because even though there is a little bit of damage on this bag, it is overall in good condition and I think I can clean it up. So this is a Lululemon tote. And it is one of their like puffy bags. I have not looked at the name of it yet, but a couple things. It's missing the crossbody strap that goes here. I think that's fine. But more importantly, like the faux leather is peeling on the side. So I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do with that. I will honestly end up selling this as is. And I think even as is, I can get 20 to $30 for it. I will do some research to find out exactly what bag this is. But I think that this is a good buy either way. Lululemon bags sell really fast for me historically. It is one of the Lululemon items that I'm still picking up. And this is a really nice little gym bag. I mean, it's like the perfect size for a quick gym trip. If you're not, you know, taking doing yoga or like taking a class, this is a great gym bag. So... I will find that a new home. Okay, and then I have, you guys, these shoelaces. I forgot to look them up. I was gonna try and look them up before um, I did the video. But I have these shoelaces because they are the Disney Keith collaboration. Keith, K-I-T-H, is a streetwear brand. It is really popular, expensive. Think about like Supreme sort of thing. So when I saw these shoelaces in the bin, I was like, you know what? I wish I had the shoes that they went with or whatever they went with before, but I'll take the shoelaces. I'll see if I can sell just the shoelaces. <laughs> Gotta get creative sometimes. And then I found this. Um, I have a Dyson vacuum. I might keep some of these pieces. But also I looked it up and I could probably sell all of these little Dyson accessories for about $50, which is great. Um, replacement parts are really awesome to sell. So if you guys don't know this, especially with things being a little bit slower in the clothing reseller market right now, I do think that, um, you know, our economy is rough inflation, all of this stuff is happening. People aren't buying clothes for themselves as much. I think doing things like replacement parts is really smart um, because people are will still buy things like this. Instead of buying a whole new vacuum, they might buy some replacement parts. So um, it's something to think about. I know a lot of resellers who sell replacement parts and do really well. They'll go and buy like 
a juicer at Goodwill for $10 and then they'll part out everything. Even if it's a complete working juicer, they'll part everything out and they'll make like $100 just in the parts alone. So think about other ways that you can start making money. If you're um, having, if you're struggling with clothing right now, just know you're not alone and maybe open yourself up to some other options. Okay. Um, because I do want to be sensitive about that. Like, I understand a lot of people, their sales are really slow and they're really struggling. I really want to be empathetic to that and understanding. Um, my sales are not the best right now. I'm just trying to push forward. And I know a lot of, you know, I do have a husband who works and I do have other streams of income. Reselling is no longer my sole stream of income. Or reselling on Poshmark is not my sole stream of income. So I think that, um, you know, I'm in a good position, but I know so many people who aren't and I want to try and help you as well. So anyway, think about stuff like this when you're, especially at the bins, just picking up like parts and pieces and selling them on eBay or Macari or even Facebook Marketplace. Um, this little Dyson piece, if it was new, it sells for like $50. I think it's listed on Amazon right now for $60. Um, I think used, I can get about 25 just for this piece. On a side note, I have, um, even though the mask mandates are lifted, I've been continuing to wear a mask at the bins because whew, it's dusty. I should have been wearing a mask all these years at the bins. I have sinus problems as it is. And so I've been continuing to wear a mask. And yesterday, for some reason, I just forgot to put a mask on. I think it's just become like, you know, I don't wear a mask anymore. So I don't think about it. And I had, you know, it was kind of like the first time that I had a realization that like, we're getting back to normal. This feels good. But I was like an hour into my trip and I realized, oh, I have a mask on. It was gross. Where's my mask? I started getting stuffy. So today I am paying for it. It is the next day that I'm filming this video. I went to the bin yesterday. I am paying for it. Are you guys, so I have a question. Are you guys still wearing your mask to the bins? Like, I know lots of controversy about our own mask wearing. I'm not asking about that. I'm asking like, are you wearing it for your face, your personal sinuses at the bins? Are you going to continue wearing a mask? Um, I'm going to. Like I said, I should have for many years. I don't wear gloves, but I definitely should have been wearing a mask because there was a lot of nasty stuff in the bins. So that is the one good thing that the... Um, <laughs> Last couple of years have taught me, wear a mask in the bins. I'm regretting my mistake yesterday. Okay. Uh, so, sorry if I'm sniffly. I have two pair of jeans, um, or sorry, two pair of denim shorts, jean shorts. These little American Eagle, I love to pick up American Eagle, and I thought this would be fun to show you guys the difference. So, the top one is the older, American Eagle Outfitters, and then the new one just has American Eagle. Just so you guys know, there's a little pro tip when you're outsourcing. Um, so like these ones are from 2020. These little American Eagle mom shorts, super cute. And then these little cutoff cuties are from 2017. But these will still sell. Look at the little pockets with the, that's cute. That's cute. They will both sell. These are the uh, shorties. They're tiny. These are double zero. Um, so just something to be aware of when you're out. If you see just the American Eagle, no outfitters on the bottom, that's from the last couple of years. You don't need to look up the date code. Those are fine. Now, if you are particular about your date or you're sourcing at the mainline Goodwill, maybe paying more than a dollar for the item, um, and you see that outfitters, that is something you might want to take a second and look at how old it is. That's all. Okay, I got lots of jeans. So we have American Eagle Super Stretch uh, High Rise Jane Crop. Honestly, I will buy all American Eagle jeans. They are one of my like best sellers. I don't. I know that certain styles are going out, but there's going to be people who are still wanting to wear those styles. And if American Eagle is no longer carrying them, they're going to have to turn to places like Poshmark to buy them. So like, I know my body type does not look good in like a baggy leg jean because I have big thighs. It doesn't work for my body type. Um, so, you know, I might have to be turning to Poshmark to buy the jean styles that I like. 
Okay, so these are just a high rise straight leg jean. Goodwill wanted $12.99 for them. I'll probably be able to sell them for about $20. So I could have never paid Goodwill's price of $12.99. Hmm. This is a pair of Liverpool. Um, I know Liverpool used to be in like a lot of Stitch Fix boxes, but I think you can also buy it at Nordstrom's. Um, these are just a skinny jean and they're just a gray skinny jean like nothing too special about them but liverpool jeans do sell well for me they have a nice stretch to them and the bigger sizes especially that's the smaller size but i'll still get it lifted these are vintage hollister jeans these are definitely like y2k style hollister um there's no date code on these but these definitely look like the stuff that the boys are wearing in high school in california and I think that these will do pretty well. They have a button fly and they are size 31. I don't know what I, these go for. I need to do some research on them, but I'm trying to think more of that Y2K style. These are overalls from Gap Denim. These are a size small overalls. I might sell these locally. Overalls do really well in the little store that I sell at, um, but I would also put these on Poshmark. So if I was gonna put these on Poshmark, I'd probably put them for like $30 to $35. Okay, probably my favorite find, just because I would like them. And if they were my size, I'd try them on. <laughs> but, so these are the Levi 501s. They have the button fly and they are the premium. This is the tag I'm really looking for at the bins, this Levi's premium. And you guys, look at these. How cool are these? They have this like rhinestone. Um, there's a lot listed in the like $100 range on Poshmark. I didn't really look at the sold. I quickly, I did a very quick search. Um, and I saw that there was lots listed from like 80 to 100. So hopefully that's the going price for these. Even at 50, that would be a great flip for me. So I, I'm so excited to get these listed. And I think the lighter color is like very spring, summer. You know, people wear jeans all year round. We have a pair of Denim and Supply by Ralph Lauren jeans. They, Denim and Supply is no longer um, made. I think they cut out that line, but their jeans still do really well. These are the skinny jeans in a darker wash. There's some whiskering on them. And hopefully I will be able to sell these for $30 to $40. We have a pair of, oh my God, I'm so excited to find these, you guys. And I wasn't even like, these were in a bit and a lot of people had gone through. They'd been out probably 10, 15 minutes and no one had grabbed these. I'm sad because I'm guessing there was pro there might have been more in the bin and I just didn't get to it fast enough. Um... But it was also a bin that had like some bedding and people never dig in the bedding bins, which I don't get. A lot of times at the bottom, I'll show you, I have some other things I found at the bottom of a bedding bin that are so good. When I get to them, I'll point them out. But these are good American, good leg, size 18 jeans. And there's no, a lot of times good American will have like a lot of wear. There's a little wear in the thigh area, but like honestly, the lighting is making it look worse than it is. Um, there's no stretching because these are a stretch denim. There's like no stretching out. There's nothing wrong with these. These are just silver uh, Suki jeans. These are a crop jean, which is great. These will sell for summertime and they are a size 18. So these are the Suki mid capris. My goodwill, what? My goodwill wanted $25 for these. People are just like, why is your bin so good? Because I can't shop at the mainline Goodwills. I can't make money on mail. I can't do it anymore. I mean, $25 for silver capris, you guys. No, absolutely not. Absolutely not. I will probably make, I'll probably be able to sell these on Poshmark for $20. Okay, so silver capris. Oh, that's very funny. Um, here they come, some more bands. Lots of jeans. Oh, these are great. Carpenter jeans are very on trend right now, in case you guys don't know. These are Gap Carpenter jeans. So this is a little carpenter thing. Um, and they're super cute. 
Also have the button fly, which I always like to note. And I'm excited to get these listed. I think that these were great finds. Um, a couple of pair of white denim. Let's see. Let me back up a little from the camera. <laughs> this, um, okay, this is interesting. So these are Abercrombie and Fitch, Finch. Um, but they say vintage 92 on the little button. And it looks like an older pair. But the, I can't find the like date tag or anything on these. So I don't know. It doesn't really matter. They're a pair of white denim. They kind of have some fraying around the edges and they are low rise. Look at that tiny zipper right there. The zipper is as long as my finger. Um, so a low rise white, like straight leg denim. And I don't know, probably this one for 25 to 30. And these are Gap Denim high rise leggings. And I think this is a newer one. Holiday 19. That's not too old. Um, so these again, the button fly. You can tell I really like the button fly. I listed a pair of Abercrombie with button fly, like exposed button fly, and they sold overnight. So a couple days ago. That's what I'm telling you about that. Anyway, these are just like a distressed pair of white jeans from Gap. Again, that's probably gonna be a twenty dollar sale. And then I have a Abercrombie. These are, what ones are you? Oh, the 90s straight ultra high rise jeans in a size 32 or 14. These are really cool. I really like these a lot. Look at, they are like the perfect worn in look. And these are great. Okay, a couple more pair of jeans and then we'll move on to the next section. That's a skirt. Um, these are American Eagle. I think these are mom jeans. And they do have like the pleated paper bag style waist, which I thought was really fun. They're a size four and they're pretty current. Yeah. So anyway, just a black pair of mom jeans with the cool, I haven't ever seen this like pleated paper bag waist before, like those. Um, I have a pair of Maurice's jeans, which I normally would not buy at the bins, even like I would pass on them, but I bought these because they were new with tags and they are this really nice dark wash trouser style of pants. This would be perfect for the office on like their denim day or whatever, but they are a boot cut trouser and you know they're just from Maurice's, but brand new retailed for $49 goodwill wanted 20 for them shocking no one bought them and um i'll probably list them for 20 on poshmark okay so joe's jeans these are a pair of the icon fit what are you probably like a boot cut let's see <laughs> They're just Joe's jeans. Um, and I'm really picking up a lot of denim at the bins. Like if it's a good quality, high quality denim in good shape, I'm gonna pick it up. Um, and these are flares because I'm happy to get even 20 to $30 for a pair of denim. And I think that, you know, there are people who maybe that isn't the most popular style, but they're still a buyer for those. This is a pair of Big Star. I have not found these in forever. I used to find these all the time and I literally just like have not found these. They are a Big Star size 30 long denim jeans. They have these in the men's, they tagged men's on the back here, but these are women's. They have the, um, what is this called? Like contrast stitch. And they are boot cut. You can see that's a very big star. Anyway, these are very similar to like Miss, the people who like Miss Me and Rock Revival and stuff also like big star. So those will do good. Uh, last denim thing that I have is this skirt. I was excited to find this. This is an Eloquy skirt in a size 16 and it is just a denim pencil skirt, but it's really cute. It has this little patch pockets on the front. And it's in perfect condition and I love finding Eloquy. The dresses do the best, but I will still pick up things like skirts at the bins. Next up is the men's stuff. I only got about five pieces of menswear. Um, 
This first one is something I normally wouldn't buy, but I did pull comps on this and they were really good. I'm gonna list this at $100. Definitely going to have to take lots of measurement, but this is a men's like tux jacket or suit jacket and it is a Hugo Boss. Um, it is a modern Hugo Boss. There we go. And then here is the fabric. It is a really fancy, expensive fabric. It's a Super 100. They, if I had the pants with this, um, it was going for like two to five hundred dollars for the suit. Retails for over a thousand, according to my quick research, of course. And it has a size forty, so it's a really good size. Um, this. I love buying these. Whenever I find them, I definitely pick them up. It is just like an America flag button down shirt. There we go. Perfect for 4th of July or really any, any time you want to wear it. And it's a men's extra large. We'll list that for like $20. Um, these I picked up because it is board short season and I don't, I have a lot of women's swimwear, but I don't have a lot of men. So I was definitely looking for that this trip. I don't think, I think this was the only one I found that I ended up buying. I just didn't find a lot of it yesterday and that's okay. But it's on my radar to start picking up men's board shorts, men's swim trunks, all of that good stuff. Even if it's not like the best brand, if it has a fun print or something, I'm going to start picking them up. Anyway, these are the um, Phantoms by Hurley and they're just a little flat, another flag, a flag board short. I will probably list those for about $20, $25. Okay, and then I did get two. I don't like selling these, but I have them. Um, I got two Robert Graham shirts. They are size large. Are they both large? No, large and medium. So I got this Robert Graham, which is, you know, has Robert Graham is known for their flip cuffs and it has this really pretty embroidery on it. There's the tag. They're very expensive shirts. They definitely have a following. Here is the other one. Right. Oh no, this isn't rubber gram. I didn't buy this. I mean, this is still an expensive brand, but I wouldn't have bought this. Uh, it's Tasso. This is an expensive menswear brand. Um, probably retailed for well over a hundred, but it's just like a basic button down. It does have like a fun print. Someone will want this. I'll sell this. I'll sell this. It's okay. It's a dress shirt. It's a size medium, 15, 15 and a half, hundred percent cotton. It does have like a little, pay it's like a check. And then there's a paisley print embossed over it. So I'm going to list it for 20 bucks. Someone will love it. Okay. And now we have my stack of regular pants that aren't jeans and there's men's and women's mixed into this. These are pajama pants. I grabbed these because they're Kiki's delivery service, which is a movie. My kids love this movie. Um, and you don't always really see a lot of stuff for this movie. So there we go. Little Kiki on a broom. And I think that I will probably list these for 20 to $30. These are a pair of NSF pants, which is sold. Oh my gosh. Where is this sold? On LF? A website, a trendy website. Anyway, these are NSF. They're a size small and they are breakaway pants, which is really on trend right now. They have a little spot, but you know me, I will just wash those right up and it'll be fine. Uh, I have a pair of leggings from Nike. These are Nike dry fit, high rise yoga leggings. These will do, look at that rise. That's a great rise. <laughs> nice high rise and a size medium. I will list those for probably about $20. These are vintage music, music wear. Like if you guys ever sold penguin stuff before, we'll say like penguin by music wear. These are, this is like the old original musing wear made in the USA, um, jogger sweatpants. And they're so cool. I debate, I threw them back at one point and then I grabbed them back because it's like, no, someone wants these. So there's the old tag, the musing wear tag. These are just like hot pink um, sweatpants. They're not even joggers. They're just like old school tapered leg sweatpants in perfect condition still super super soft on the inside like nice thick cotton 
and no flaws. I am excited to list these things. I don't know what they sell for. I just ended up grabbing them because I thought they were really cool. These are a pair of Patagonia leggings. Size are you? Size medium. They look kind of like a marble print. And they're just outdoor leggings. You know, not all Patagonia is made equally. These have a hole in them that I didn't catch. Wow. Okay, so I won't be selling these. These will get thrown in the trash, unfortunately. Because the A, the fabric here is just completely worn out. Um, and there's giant holes and the hole is on the seam, but it's already been sewn up. You can see where she sewed it up before or they sewed it up before and now it's, yeah. Okay. This is like threadbare in the crotch. We are going to re, we're going to throw these in the trash. It is what it is. I don't like doing that, but I'm not going to donate those. They're, they're done. They're, they've seen, they've had their fun. I know that Patagonia has a program these are done um these are just bt which is nordstrom but i like these they have like this nice stretchy waist they kind of have a paper bag style and they're a wide leg kind of gaucho pant and even though they're just a nordstrom house brand i thought they were cute and cozy and like perfect loungewear and i think i can sell them for 15 or 20 dollars next up is these nike running pants these are a size medium and they're just like warm up track pants, lightweight. I really like this mesh waistband that they have. I thought that was really cool. And they're in excellent condition. A little peeling that I need to take off with my handy dandy sweater shaver. But outside of that, that's a $20 set. We have these are uh, Abercrombie. These are a skinny leg jogger in this army green color size medium really cool they have the zipper pockets and then they have the ankle elastic as well these are pants from nike these are nike sb skateboarding pants um the great thing about these my husband actually loves wearing these because they have a ton of stretch or like a decent amount of these don't feel very stretchy I might take that back. SB skateboarding stuff usually has like a good amount of uh, like move that you can move in it because you're skating in it. Anyway, my point is these are size 36 men's Nike SB pants. Um, these are old school pink <laughs> fold over waist. Oregon Ducks College. This is a, like a local college. Uh, go get them. This is so Y2K. Like, this is the epitome of Y2K right here. The fold over low rise pink boot cut leggings. Yes. Okay. So, I'm excited for these. I'm going to wash them. Uh, they're size medium. And then I'm probably going to list these for about $30 to $40. Okay. I picked these up. I want to find cargo shorts. Last time I had the bins before this, I actually threw a pair back and I regret it. But I think like uh, Abercrombie cargo shorts will probably come back because that's very Y2K aesthetic. And um, so when I saw these, I went ahead and grabbed them. These are like old school Abercrombie pants for men. And they're just old school cargo pants. I mean, this is what the boys wore in high school. They have a lot of pockets going on. It has like an outside pocket and then another pocket. You are, boys get all the pockets. It's not fair. And then women are the ones who carry everything anyways. Okay, there's another, this has a pocket with a flap and another pocket. Ooh, there's something in even though. I wish. I did find $5 the other day. I was very excited about that. Okay, so that's that. Um, these are heavy. They definitely cost me a few dollars. We'll see how they do. I have no idea. I didn't look comps. I just bought them based on my instinct. Sometimes that works out, sometimes it doesn't. <laughs> these are Adidas joggers in a size medium. And I like these because I like this Adidas logo. I feel like that's like a very old school kind of um, Missy Elliott logo, but these are modern uh, Adidas joggers. We have a pair of leggings from Nike. Dry fit leggings in a size medium. Just another pair of boot cut 
leggings. All of this is like $20, $25, right? We have these Levi's. I was going to try these on myself, actually. So I could use a couple pair of pants like this. These are a size extra large. Um, Levi's jogger, like, sweatpants. They have a tie waist, but they also have, like, the button and zip on them. So, that's interesting to me. Anyway, that's what these are. And if I can't wear them, I will definitely sell them. And then last but not least for the pant department, we have a pink Victoria's Secret straight leg sweatpants. There we go. There we go. That's all. Tops. <laughs> okay, lots of stuff that I'm going to sell locally, all the like Y2K sort of stuff, including this. Oh my gosh. Where's Erica Caddy Birches? I can't wait to show her this. She's gonna love it. Look at this blingy cropped I might have owned this shirt <laughs> might have owned this shirt uh acceleration target size small little crappie top with that cat oh definitely need a good oxy clean soap but I have to do it that doesn't take like the glitter off so I will be asking an expert on how to wash this up next up is this little brandy Melville number little blue with this trim um also selling this locally for probably like 14 dollars very cute i got this because it first when i saw it it reminded me of this free people sweater that has the same kind of dye on its material but it's not this is white house black market you guys look at how freaking cute this is it's a little sweater like sleeveless with this mock neck and then I mean, just the detailing, this has a very free people vibe. It really does. Maybe you can wear like a long sleeve shirt underneath it and layer it, or you can just wear a tank underneath it. Um, but so, so, so cute. I can see so many styles with this <laughs> sweater top. So I couldn't leave it behind, even though I'm really not buying much White House Black Market. This is the newer tag, but I'm really passing on it lately. However, I got this just for style. I just thought it was so cute. So hopefully I can sell it for 18 to $20. Next we have a little uh, shirt by Feel the Peace. I have sold this in the past. This brand is expensive, but it doesn't have like the best selfie rate. However, this was a really cool mixed fabric t-shirt. This top is so soft and it is silk i thought so i wanted to double check but yes it is a silk front and then just the rayon back um i have to look up comps on that but again probably 20 bucks i can probably stop saying that i have this huff skateboarding shirt this is a vintage skateboarding company i believe it says huff world i have a couple good pieces like this so here is the tag I gotta do some research on this, but I think that's a good one. I have this little top from Polly, Princess Polly. And again, just like a little ribbed crappie top. Oh my gosh, so small. It stretches. It stretches. This lettuce, cabbage, what is this? Cabbage? I don't know. This hem that is named after some sort of salad. I'm selling that one locally. Okay, and then I got these two shirts at the bottom of a bin that was, these were covered with the blankets. This is what I was saying earlier. So the first one I found was this Space Jam shirt. Here's the back. And then the front has just a little logo and it is like a button front shirt. Then right next to that, same person donated an Emma Hardy shirt. Yeah. This is so good. Oh my gosh. This little Ed Hardy shirt. Yes. These are back. These are big. Very. I was so excited. I have not found Ed Hardy since it kind of like came back. It's an extra large. It is an original one. It does have a little hole in it somewhere, I noticed, but that's fine. I'll list it as is. It does have the Ed Hardy on the back. I mean, that's a fantastic find. I don't know how much those go for right now, but I will look it up. We have this soft surroundings um, lace blouse and it is a off the shoulder little lace top, perfect like 
western vibes i think this is very very cute perfect for summertime it's a size small but if you guys watched my what sold video from last week on friday i talked about how you know sauce surroundings a lot of people say just to buy the big stuff but if you find a good piece the small sizes sell as well yes 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 saint laurent shirt however it's fake and I got really excited and I didn't really pay attention. And then I got it home and I looked at it and I was like, oh, that's just like a Saint Laurent tag sewn onto a cheap fake shirt. So that's unfortunate. This is not real. The tag might be real, but the uh, garment is definitely not. Um, and I could tell that just like based on this cheap button on the back. So you guys saw this um, probably on the thumbnail. And then when I realized, I took that picture at the bins. And then um, when I was home, I was like, oh, <laughs> this isn't real. And that's okay. I am happy to buy it and um, I'm not gonna sell it. And I don't want someone else to be duped by it. So we uh, will cut the tag off of that and maybe redonate it. But yeah, that was disappointing. It's okay, it happens. It's not the end of the world. Um, I have lots of other good stuff. And frankly, I would rather sell bread and butter than designer all day long. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. Piranha. I have been selling Piranha pants like hotcakes for $30 to $40 all day long. Like so good. I want to find more Piranha pants. <sighs> Piranha size medium. This is a lightweight white long sleeve like Henley shirt with the mixed fabric on it. Uh, I think that's a good summertime shirt. We have this Allen Soy, extra, extra large, little button down shirt. There's the tag. This brand is expensive, but it's pretty hit and miss. Um, however, I think this has like a good fabric content. What is this? Yep, a linen cotton blend. You know how I feel about linen pieces. It does have the darting on the back. That shows me that it is a well-made, like well-constructed item. You see that dart right there? And I think that this will still sell pretty good. Um, again, that brand is like super hit and miss, but I think I can tag it good, make a good um, title for it, and I think it will sell. Okay, so I have this shirt, which I've never heard of the brand. I bought just based on style alone. Abeka? I'm not saying it right. I'm not. There's the tag. And it is definitely a lagging look style shirt. It's this boxy, lightweight. It's not linen, but it has that kind of linen feel to it. So we'll tag that correct and it will do good. This is a little World Industries skateboarding um, t-shirt that someone made into a crop top. These like night or like y2k skateboarding brand shirts are doing really well right now so i was excited to pick that one up this is just a uh <laughs> mossy oak like hunting hoodie there we go camouflage outdoor hoodie i do like picking up some of this mossy oak stuff if it's in good condition and this one was in great shape trying to make sure like yeah i don't really see any stains or anything on it so we'll get that listed just a little woman's basic. And then if you want to match with your partner, if your partner is a male and you're a female or whatever, it doesn't really matter. You can wear this. Look, look at this American flag shirt. The stars are in metallic. There we go. I would never buy Karen Scott, but this, this I bought. So two American flag shirts in one day. That's a win. Okay, two scrubs. I don't always buy scrubs, but when I do, I'm like that dose Eke's man drinking a beer. <laughs> but when I do, I buy figs. I wish this had the matching bottoms. I only found the top. That's okay. Um, if I had the set, it could probably sell for $75 or so, but just the top, I don't know how much it's going to go for. This is only $4.99 at Goodwill and no one bought it. So that's kind of crazy to me. I would have paid $4.99 for this. Okay, figs, excited. And then this, okay, I have to look this up, but 
This is a, I might look it up right now, actually. Tokido, I'm, I'm saying this wrong, but it is a Koi scrub, which is a good scrub line. When I first started, I was selling, like figs wasn't around yet when I first started reselling. And um, this brand, Koi, was like the hot tip for scrubs and this is a collaboration with this brand which is very popular like there's definitely collectors for this i think that this scrub top will do really well after my very quick research i found out that i can sell this one for about 30 dollars and the figs run for about 30. so we love that anyway when you see collaborations always look it up there's the tag and i'm very excited okay these are some free people shirts i found these all in the same bin that had been very picked over so i don't know no one grabbed these um the they rolled out and then another clothing like row rolled out and so everyone just like went to that new row and i love when that happens because i just stay at the row that just rolled out so what happens at my goodwill outlet everyone's is a little bit different but what they do at my goodwill outlet is they take there's rows right there's like uh, like eight rows nine rows and then there's like two sections in each row so they take out one whole row okay and they bring the row in and as soon as the whole row is stopped you can start going through it and then they immediately take out the next row and as soon as like the first section is stopped you can go through it and then the second section is stopped you can go through it right so what happens is a lot of the time um they you know people will be sourcing in that first row it will be clothing but then the new row will immediately come out with clothing and everyone will move over to that next row i like to stay at that first row and just eat, go through every single piece because people don't even get to the bottom like a lot of stuff is there's a lot so that's my strategy this is a free people intimate little top very cute little slinky shirt i think it's brand new it still has the little hangy thing on it uh, i got that one and this one which is a free people thermal size medium it has a little mock neck and then the crocheting and the cuff these ones are good i'll probably list this for like 30 to 40. this little tank and a large shirt and a large by we the free little knit baseball tee there's that and last but not least is this we the free size small little oversized top this one won't go for much 15 18 dollars but you know i'll take it i'll take it at the bit so it's great stop it come here the sleeve is all <laughs> okay so there's those those are all my shirts time to move on to the next section should we do dresses or outerwear we also have bras and kids stuff to get to. There's a lot in this haul and I'm going to attempt to get most of it listed this weekend. Very excited because I am going to make my listing goal this week. I'm going to do it, which means I need to list all this stuff. Here's this. This is a torrid dress in size 24 and it is just a nice little black skater style dress. Has a little fun sleeve. Goodwill wanted $12.99. It did not sell for $12.99, but I will try and sell it on Poshmark. This brand, oh my gosh. Okay, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Long haul here, you guys. Thanks for hanging in with me. If you're still watching this, I love you. First off, you are the real MVP, right? Yeah, you are the real MVP. I appreciate you. If you've not taken the time to subscribe to my channel, please go hit that subscribe button. Give the video a thumbs up leave me a comment let me know what you think of the video what you think of the haul and i love interacting i've been trying to respond to every comment that people leave okay this is a hollister skirt which is so good i think i showed you guys the other hollister skirt which sold for like a hundred dollars and this is just a little plaid mini skirt which i'm excited about so i'm sure this one doesn't go for as much as the other one but hopefully i can still sell it for 20 to 30. This was the last thing I found on my way out <laughs> and I was excited to find it. This is a Adriana Papel dress and it's a size 14, which is fantastic. And it is a little black dress with this lace 
How beautiful is that lace, you guys? Okay, sometimes I think about where all these clothes go. Like, were you wearing something you bought for me when you fell in love? Like, where are you going? What kind of adventure are you going on? This is an L. Bean signature dress. I don't pick up all L. Bean, but this was a good little basic striped dress. So I went ahead and grabbed that. This I will probably sell locally. We'll see. I might list it. It's a romper from American Eagle. And it's just a really cute little lace up neck red polka dot romper. Perfect for summertime. Sheen. <laughs> All that work. I will sell this locally. Sheen does pretty good. So a sheen size medium. And this is just a little floral dress. Look at these little drapey arms. Very cute. Mini dress. Mini dresses are definitely coming back. I was watching a blogger or sorry, I was watching an influencer, I guess, that I like on Instagram and she was talking about how she's over midi dresses and she's ready for mini dresses. And I've kind of seen that trend happening across the board. So I think, you know, we got to shift our gears a little bit and start picking up those mini dresses again. Like it or not, here we are. Um, speaking of that, I have two dresses that are mini dresses. <laughs> This white shirt dress, but this is such a classic piece. I couldn't not get it. This is a Banana Republic size large white shirt dress. Again, just like the epitome of classic Banana Republic style. It's made of like a Timothil, I believe, um, fabric. And it's from Holiday 2001. This is less than a year old, so that's great. Yeah, this is a Timothil dress, and I love that. And it still had the belt and everything on it. It really doesn't look like it was ever worn. Then we have this dress, which is very similar. It is a black shirt dress, but it is a linen, 100% linen. I wouldn't buy this brand if I saw it, just like based on the brand, but I bought it because it is a linen maxi dress. I believe it's a maxi or a midi, depending on your height. And it's just a nice 100% linen dress. So that was really cool. I don't always find a lot of black linen, so I think that's great. Next up, we have this gown. Um, I do like selling gowns when I find them. I don't find a ton of gowns at the bins. I don't know what happens to the gowns. They're not really showing up at my bins. Um, but this is a little gown. Has this high neck, really, really pretty. It's a little belt style waist. This goes down, there we go pink color and then it has kind of an open back on it there we go and this is by jj house jj's house which i've never heard of but i did look it up these dresses retail for three ish hundred dollars so i grabbed it my good little water 25 no one bought it i grabbed it i thought the style was really really pretty and romantic and just i mean i could see this for even like a bridesmaid dress, so many things, so many things. So grab it, see what happens. This I'm gonna sell locally. Uh, this is another little mini dress, has a couple spots, I'll get those out. Um, with that, is it cabbage or lettuce? A salad hem, we're gonna call it a salad hem. <laughs> If I don't remember off the top of my head. I always get it mixed up for years. You can watch my videos and I'm always saying it wrong. We'll call it the salad hem. Ooh, this I was excited for. You guys saw in my video, I found this at the in a bin that had been out for at least an hour and it was just hanging out waiting for me. There's a couple other pieces at the end of this that were also sitting out forever and I was like, what? So these, I'll tell you, okay. All Saints silk red midi dress. So freaking pretty, you guys. Has a belted waist. And this is the, hold on, hold on. I love All Saints because it's gonna tell me. Well, there's a tag in here somewhere that will tell me the exact style name of this dress and it's cut out, so no, it won't. Boom, boom, boom. Insert sad, sad sound effect here. <laughs> It's all right, we'll do an image search. Um, but this is a little silk dress from All Saints in a size six. 
it's so pretty it's so pretty there is i can see now with the light i think there's a spot right there but we can get that out with some tide or oxy or dawn blue dish soap it'll come out this dress i bought based on style because i liked it, it gave me a 90s vibe uh this is an orvis dress in a size 18 but it's so cool it's so cool this is big maxi dress it has that like California Venice Beach in the 90s vibe. And Orvis is, you know, it's okay. It's 100% cotton. I think Orvis is hit and miss. Um, but things like that that are fun with that bold print, we'll, we'll find a home for it. I might even sell it locally. Who knows? Oh my God. I will sell this locally because I hate selling vintage online. But you guys, this vintage dress is just everything. I'm going to make it look better and then show it to you. Okay, this is a vintage dress. It's a shirt dress. Look, it even has like the original pussy bow neckline. I did a horrible job tying this bow, but you get the point. It still has like all the original stuff on it. Look at this. How freaking cute is this? Oh my gosh, I absolutely love this dress. This is a Vera Maxwell original, um, is a designer. I did look up this label and their dresses can sell for a lot of money. So this is just so cute, you guys. Wow, wow. Stoked on this. Um, so yeah, I still have this attached to it, which is great. And then even the like, buttons are so cute so has the mother of pearl button right here and then these buttons are these diamond like gemstone buttons Ugh. i obviously am madly in love with this dress it's just so it has a big full skirt on it <sighs> i love it i love it i don't know what i'm gonna do with it yet but i love it uh, then I have this dress, which is just a sweater dress. It won't, it'll take a little bit to sell, but this is from Sisters. And it's just, oh, it's going to be probably thrown in the trash. I was like a bunch of holes. Okay. That's a no. That's a no. But these two are my best finds of the day for sure. So I got there at the bin and there was tons of clothing out. I haven't seen this much clothing in a long time. Usually, lately, there's been, like, way more hard goods than clothing, but it was full of clothing. I was like, yes, finally. Thank you. So, I went to the back area, um, which can be, like, super hit and miss, but there was, like, a lot of people in the front, and I found these immediately. They were, like, one of the first things I found, and I was like, it's going to be a good day. So... This is a brand that I'm going to have a hard time pronouncing, but I found two of the dresses and they had to have been out for at least an hour before I got there, before I got to them. I think a lot of people just don't know this brand. I'm not going to try and pronounce it. It is a fantastic brand to find. And both of the dresses are an extra, extra large with the pockets. There's the blue one. And then there's also the red floral one. Here we go. Oh my gosh, such, just such a good find. Now let's get on to some outerwear. This is a, I know it's like so anticlimactic, but these are really good. If you guys find that brand, definitely buy it. Uh, this is a altered state sweater that's inside out for some reason. Open knit altered state sweater. I pick up that stuff sometimes. It's very hit and miss. I like the style on that. That's why I grabbed it. This is a uh, blank NYC faux suede, like, that is a asymmetrical zip jacket. Here's the tag. It's an extra large. Found this in the same bin as the Good American jeans, so that was cool. A sweater from Topshop, which I don't always pick up all Topshop, but this is a pretty classic little ribbed tan sweater very neutral i think it's very on trend it is also a size 10 which is a great size might not sell until the fall but i will still get it listed i think that you know it's just such a classic staple piece it's good 
I got this Ivy Park hoodie. Ivy Park is Beyonce's line, I believe. This needs to go back through right now before I lose it. Hold on, hold on. Ah, ah, man down, man down. Come here, come here, come here. If I don't get this hood thing put back through here, it's going to get worse and then I'm going to be sad. Oh, oh, we found her. We found her. And I know there's ways to get them out, but I want to do the least amount of work possible. Okay. There we go. So we have a little Ivy Park hoodie, just a little kangaroo pocket hoodie. Pretty basic. Still does really well. Size small. So to get that listed, another sweater. This is our heavier stuff. Sweater from Topshop in a size small. It is a long line ribbed cardigan. These are really popular even in spring and summertime because you can just throw them on over whatever you're wearing if it's a chillier day. This brand, I didn't know what it was, but I felt maybe it has seen it before. It reminded me of that packed brand that I recently got and sold pretty quickly. This is called Feet, F-E-A-T. I looked this up. This exact piece is selling anywhere from $30 to $50. So Bolo, this brand, I guess. I have to do a little more research. I did a very quick look up. Missing the size tag. That's okay. We'll add measurements. And the size tag might be, the size might be in here. I would guess it is an extra large. Goodwill labeled it as an extra large. It fits like an extra large but I will include measurements for it. This is a, a Lowell Alpine. I did not pick up everything by this brand. I am very selective, but I did get this because of the fabric content. It is, let me double check, let me double check. It's a wool, yeah, it's a wool sweater by Lowell Alpine. Oh no, do you have a logo on you? The heck is that? What is that? I can't even read it. it has this on it? <laughs> anyway, I don't know. Uh, Lowell Alpine little wool full zip up hooded sweater, little outdoor brand, and it is made really well. Like the pockets have the zipper. It has its own pool, like custom pool. So I looked up comp sale and it wasn't great. It just wasn't great. I think maybe $25 on it. Whatever this thing is, has a long neck. <laughs> a long jacket. Okay. L.L. Bean, extra large. Space dye, pullover, cowl neck sweater. We have a Nike pullover, Oregon Ducks. Recently sold one of these for like $25. That should be good. Uh, this is a cool, you guys saw me find this at the bin. A little cool knit sweater, sweatshirt, zip up, warm fleece thing. Fleece needs its own category on Poshmark, please. Please put in a formal request to make fleece a category. <laughs> so a fleece zip up sweatshirt from Cool in the same bin that I found those fancy dresses, by the way. Nike Lab, I believe this is a lab piece because the thing is sideways, I could be wrong. Uh, this is a very thick material. I can't, oh, yeah. I am. Um, it's like a sweatshirt, but the material is super thick thick and warm and cozy and just perfect. It's a tunic length and it does have pockets. And I wish that I knew exactly what you were, but I don't, and that's okay. The pockets are hidden too. And they have a zipper to close it. This someone threw back, probably because it's full of stains, but they're surface stains and you can wash that out. Oh, it also has a sock inside of it. Okay, okay. No money, but a pair of socks, sure. <laughs> I looked this guy up, uh, it sells for like $45. This is a North Face, there we go. Here is a little North Face tag on the side. Fleece pullover, and again, it has surface stains, but those are, easy. that's like the easiest, these are the easiest things to clean. 
and I was excited. I love a good fleece. I love a good teddy bear jacket. Okay, this is the last jacket I have, and then we're gonna move on to intimates and kid stuff. But, okay, I found this Adidas jacket. Adidas is so hit and miss for me. I don't pick all of Adidas up by any means. I leave a lot of it behind. And there's a few reasons why this was interesting. So I saw this jacket. I could tell the construction was really well made. And I was like, what is this? It has some venting on the back. And it just looked really great. So I took a photo of this logo and I put it through Google Images. Once I figured it out and I looked up this jacket, I think I can sell it for $100. What? <laughs> Do, 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 do. I could be wrong, who knows? But in my quick little research, this was a great piece. So this is a little Dita jacket, collabor it's a collaboration uh, bomber jacket in a size extra large. Has a couple spots, we'll get those off, no biggie. Okay, Whew. anybody else tired of hearing me talking yet? How are we doing, hanging in there? Okay, we have lots of these little corsetti things. <laughs> this one happens to be a Victoria's Secret, an older Victoria's Secret, size small, 34C, not small. Um, little, there we go, teddy. Is that a pocket? It does. What are you putting in your pocket? What are you putting in your pocket? Do I want to know? Anyway, that's that. Got that. Um... This Victoria's Secret Teddy, which I think I might sell locally. We'll see. This, cause someone could also wear this as a dress. That would be very an on-trend thing to do. Very cute little Victoria's Secret number here. You're a size blah, blah, large, ooh, great size. We have another little Teddy tank from Delegates? I don't know. I just liked it. It was like a bold purple satin. Someone will just wear this as a tank top. Totally. Uh, my high school days, this is like what we wore. So I think that even though this brand isn't great, I'll sell it locally for, you know, $14 or so. And that'll be good. Here's some swimsuits. Uh, this is a Michael Kors swimsuit and you can remove the strap. So it can either be a halter or it can be a regular strapless swimsuit. Just a cutie. Ooh, a little cutie. Uh, and then some shorts from Frana. These are just swim shorts. And these sell as separates all day long. Sports bras. I have two of these Nike sports bras. If they're the same size, I'm going to lock them up. Two Nike sports bras. Are you the same size? Oh, they might be. Anyway, these are just like your basic Nike bra. I can stop talking about them now. I know. We have this bra from Kashyyyk. 44C. Nice plus size bra. Another Kashyyyk bra, which is probably the same size. I think I got these together. I won't lock these up. They're not similar enough. This is a 44D anyway. Uh, lace bra. And another Kashyyyk and a 44C. So I will lock this and the other 44C up because they're similar like molded cup underwire bras. This is a size large Victoria's Secret. It has a front closure bralette. Look at how cute this is. I love this. It's so freaking cute. Get that guy lifted. This is a, another Victoria's Secret bra. This is the Dream Angels in a size 32 triple D. No. This is another Victoria's Secret 32 double D Dream Angels. It's a loud part. Uh, this, look how cute this is. It still has all of its, it's an older one, but it still has all of its little rhinestones on it. Then this one is brand new, I think. Or maybe not. Maybe they just kept this, but this is a Victoria's Secret Body by Victoria Ibex, which is older, little strapless bra, but they had the little things still. So they included the straps, the clear ones and the regular ones in their little baggie, which is so nice. So 38D, B, D, B. 
And then I have just some kid stuff. Uh, and I do have one pair of shoes, which I will tell you the story about the shoes and then we'll wrap up the video. This is a pair of Gap Kit or yeah, Levi's, sorry, Levi's overalls. A Oshkosh Bagosh vintage overalls. And I do need to do like a big lot of Oshkosh stuff. I have a ton of it at this point. Janie and Jack. If you find Janie and Jack um, girls like fancy dresses, I sold a gold one during the holidays for I think $125 and it sold within minutes of me listing it. So this is definitely a Bolo brand for certain pieces. People, there's like fanatics out there for it. Um, not like basics, but these like fancier dress pieces. Anyway, these little short swim trunks I'll probably list for $20. Bucks. A little Hannah Anderson polka dotted hoodie. Another Hannah Anderson boys 120. I buy most Hannah Anderson that I find and then I'm going to make a bunch of lots with it and list them, which I've been doing for a long time. You can go back in my Poshmark closet like four years and find all of my kid lots. Oh my gosh, another little one. I have a bunch of size 100 in girls, so that's great. I can't wait to get these listed. We have this Hannah Anderson. I think this can go together. Are you the same size? A 120, oh, it's not the same size. So we have the skirted swimsuit bottom by Hannah Anderson and they are sold separately, so it doesn't really matter. There we go. And then I have this top, little tankini top. Look how cute, little mermaids. Size uh, four in that one. We have some uh, Christmas PJs and then these little robot Christmas PJs. Oh my gosh, my son, when he was this age, Loved robots. We threw him a huge robot party one year. It was so cute. Bobots. He called them Bobots. 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 He would have loved these pajamas. Bobots. Hannah Anderson, size five, little sweatpants, really cute little sweatpants. Okay, Gap denim jacket. Little baby denim jacket. Can't go wrong with that. And then last but not least, oh wait, no, we have the shoes. What is this? Shoes to find them. A pair of Oshkosh Bagosh overalls and if I can get past this mountain that is next to me. No kidding. I will find the little shoes. Hold on. Ladies and gentlemen, we found the shoes. So I was getting ready to leave because I was getting very busy and I was not having it. There was just too many people, too much going on. So I knew I needed to leave, um, but then a row of shoes came out and I was kind of stuck because there were so many cards. I couldn't get through. You have to keep your cart with you. Literally like couldn't get through. And so I was standing there waiting for the, the road already moved out and they had like a big yellow line thing that you kind of stand behind. Um, and all the carts were lined up. It was very, uh, it was a struggle, right? Um, but this guy came through and he was like trying to get through, but I couldn't move. Like another bin was coming. All these parts were there. I couldn't go anywhere. And he started getting frustrated because I wouldn't move, but I couldn't. So finally I had to be like, I can't go anywhere. Like, where do you want me to go? My body is literally landlocked right now. <laughs> and so I knew at that point I needed to leave because I can't. When people start becoming like aggressive and mean, I'm out. I'm out. This is not what I'm there for. So I did end up grabbing these though, because I was stuck and I had to wait for the bin to come out and I got these and I was very grateful um, for these. These are a pair of Nike Air Force, the place is a lot all weird. Nike Air Force weird like high tops. They are a little bit dirty. I'm going to clean them up. They have this like white embossing on them. Uh, there's not a lot listed on Poshmark. And I don't know, I mean, I could get 40 for them. I could get a hundred for them. I don't know yet. So they're a size women seven, right? Are you a women seven? Size, yeah, 38. So I don't know, I haven't seen this before, the style Air Force. I do live in Nike headquarter world, so I do see a lot of weird Nike stuff, but they are dirty, but overall good condition. So I'm excited to, I at least got these. <laughs> and then I found my way out of the madhouse, checked out and came home. Anyway, that's my whole haul. That's my whole video. I know it's long. I'm sorry. I don't know. Do you guys want me to show you the highlights of the haul? Like my videos have become really, really long and I know that that's too much for a lot of people. So 
I don't know. Would you want just the highlights? I guess that's what I'm asking. Like, would you rather me show you just like 20 pieces for my haul? Or do you want me to keep filming the whole haul? Help me out. <laughs> I appreciate you guys so much though. Thank you if you watch to the end. Thank you so much. And I will be back again soon with another video. Have a great day, everyone. Goodbye.